Hey, how's it going? Kelly Ritchie here. People always ask me, you know, how do you learn rhythm? How do you play with feel? I have a very strong right hand. That's one of my strong suits as a player. If you're a beginner to an intermediate student, there's a certain level of execution that has to happen for you to have the freedom to really play rhythmically. Getting used to holding your pick and feeling time is part of that process as far as the whole package deal. This is an exercise that I show people that have been playing for a long time and an exercise that I show beginning and intermediate students. So what we're going to do is play quarter notes and eighth notes and sixteenth notes. I'm going to run through that just kind of you know straight to the point. Then I'm going to start mixing them up and showing you how you might want to use these in a practice routine. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and Notice that I'm tapping my foot. It'd be great, actually very, very, very important to play with a metronome. Uh, even better, if you have a smartphone, uh, download a really cool like loops or beats or some kind of drum you know, pattern thing that gives you something interesting to play to. Nothing fancy, just something that you know makes you wanna Tap your foot and feel it. Because if you're playing rhythm like this, that's not feeling it. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and Obviously, I'm bouncing back and forth between quarter notes and eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do sixteenth notes. One and two and three and four and one and. Here's where you want to take this. You want to make this come to life. So one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Emphasizing on the beat. One, two, and three, and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Your how really laying in the beat. One and Now, if you were to use this, that starts getting your hand where you can get the control, start feeling the rhythm, getting one with your guitar, but it starts out by holding onto your pick, developing a feel, getting that pulse, creating that pulse. Okay. All right. There you go.